When I spoke to Aaron Boone today about you, he said since coming off the IL, he feels like each time you're out there, you get better and better. Do you feel like you are back to where you were prior to all the injuries? Yeah, I mean, like you just said, I mean, it just takes, it took me a little bit of time to kind of adjust and get my command back. I felt like I was struggling with it a little earlier in rehab, and now I feel like it's getting to a point where it's, everything's clicking, everything's firing, so I'm, I'm ready to get going and help the team win some more. He also said, away from the field, you bring a tremendous amount of energy to that clubhouse. Tommy, what did he mean by that? Uh, I mean, I just try to keep everything light and and fun. I mean, I know baseball is a hard sport, obviously. I mean, we we fail, and that's that's our job. But it's, uh, it's very hard to, you know, keep spirits up for 162 games. So I try to, you know, do goofy things loud. Sometimes it's a little too much, but <laughs> I know when to kind of pump the brakes and, you know, tone it down a little bit for the guys. But, uh, yeah, I try to have a good time in there and keep everything light. So we come out here and play with that, you know, that little swagger to us. It's been tradition over the past couple of years. When the Yankees win, they award the player of the game with a belt that looks like a, a wrestling belt. And you've had one of those belts in your locker uh, even before you left and came back. What made you such a big wrestling fan? <laughs> So when I was a kid, I uh, I just remember putting like blankets and pillows and stuff next to the couch with my cousins, and we're jumping off doing like these wrestling moves. Probably a terrible idea to do when you're a kid. <laughs> but did you grow up in the Morakovitz household? It sounds eerily familiar. <laughs> so yeah, a lot of that was basically, and then we just kind of loved watching it every uh, Monday night, and then every time they had a pay per view, I'd always go to my cousin's house and watch it with them. And, it's just a tradition forever. And they, they got me hooked. So. All-time favorite wrestler? Uh, for me, it's I have two. Bret Hart and Sting. All right. Those are pretty good ones. Now, if you had an alter ego that was a wrestler, what would it be? You've had to have thought about it before. Yeah, yeah, I have. Um, but I actually want to become a tag team with oh. Trevino. Interesting. Yeah, that's our that's our goal. And what's we, what's the name of the duo? That's what we haven't figured out yet. So <laughs> I don't want to throw something out there without you know collaborating with him. Well, I don't think Yankees fans want you to figure that out until November. So we'll get back to you uh, later in the season to see if you guys have made any progress. But let's get back to baseball for just a second. I, I mentioned it earlier. This bullpen has been so solid despite injuries. Guys just keep on stepping up. What do you think it is about this group, Tommy? I think it's just you know everybody is well coach and the guys were sticking with what's what are our strengths what do we do best and I think that has a big factor in today's game and you see the stuff each guy has down there and it, it's it's hard I mean it's they to pick who you want is basically like oh we'll go with this but <laughs> You know, everybody's doing really well and stepping up and when somebody goes down and it's been pretty awesome down there and I love to see it shockingly as the older guy now I am, but I love to see all these guys and just everything they bring to the table. There are not many teams throughout Major League Baseball that have so many options in the back end of that bullpen. You went, Aaron Boone went to you the other day, Clay Holmes. We've seen Wandy Peralta, Michael King in those situations. Just how much of a luxury is that for a team with so many guys that can pitch high leverage situations? I think it's, it's huge I mean it's definitely huge coming especially when we're going to come down to the uh, end of the season when it's going to be more of a grind and we're going to need those games and it's going to be relied on the bullpen sometimes so I think it's a good thing that we have a plethora of just back end guys high leverage guys it's going to help tremendously the rest of the way when I spoke to you this offseason after you had just re-signed with the Yankees you talked about how excited you were to be back why is it so special for you to be wearing pinstripes and pitching in the Bronx uh, it's very special to me just based off, I mean, they, they drafted me. They gave me my first chance in professional baseball. And I know a lot of family and friends are all Yankees fans, so that's huge for, for my home fan base. And just, I mean, never growing up as a Yankee fan, but then playing here, I got to experience what it's like. And it's there's no other feeling. I mean, I've played for four other teams now, and I've always loved being a Yankee. The biggest difference between a young Tommy Canley who was drafted to Tommy Canley right now? <laughs> a little less toned down. <laughs> a, a little, you mean a little more toned down? Oh, a little they, they, more that's toned what, down. Okay, that's okay. what I guess. Just checking. Just a little bit of that. Some guys in that clubhouse would say, if this isn't toned down, oh, no, what, what are we getting ourselves into? <laughs> anyway, Tommy, thank you so much for the time. Best of luck tonight. Thanks, Meredith. Appreciate it.